FNB Varsity Shield. It's the 10th year anniversary of FNB Varsity Shield, and we're here for round one. The defending champions, the Cape Peninsula University of Technology, CPUT, hosting Walter Sisulu on a warm Friday evening here in the Western Cape, but a very strong wind blowing. Sustained pressure here, and Pai getting the fend. Riding the tackle of fullback uh, Muiz Damon and not rolling away. CPUT, so a penalty five meters out from their line. Tell you what, Slomna Pai can shift. Look at this. Straight through. I thought he was gone here. <laughs> Brave tackle. And the wind uh, right at his back. The flags are up. And Walter Sisulu deserved leaders after 14 minutes of this game. Forwards working hard over the ball. Then uh, Erasmus for Brunkes. Nele. Kamaldin. Knee on the ground. Has to be released. Wow. Card coming here. Okay. Too many penalties for your guys not rolling. That's a yellow. That's harsh, I must say. If you, if you consider the penalties conceded on the other 22 by CPUT, and this is one of the rare times actually CPUT or Walter Sisula have been forced to defend in the 22 meter area. Shinkani waits. And uh, out the back from Monani Loki. Well, a relieving Six. penalty. And... Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Well, it's another yellow card. It's uh, been given against uh, wait, wait. Tokozani and Godwana. So a second yellow card Time with Tebuko Madehoi already off the field late in the first half. And even with seven, they're, uh, they're making their presence very well felt. And now the interception is made. Mapuko with a clean run into the line. Interception from Anyembe. And with 13 men on the field, Walter Sisulu University finally get a try, which you feel they richly deserved in the first 40. Well, the intercept, first of all, from Nyambe didn't have the wheels, gets it to Mapuko. He's quick for a fly half, but against the run of play, Walter Sisulu probably should have got one or two in the first half. <laughs> Tap and go from Erasmus. Drum case. And then Damon sprinting away. The home side finally on the board. Moise Damon. Unopposed and under the post and the home crowd ecstatic. Well, the home crowd turning the volume up. Good straightening up from Brinkhase to put Moise Damon into space. He's got wheels. He's got proper gas down. And then a little dink through from Shinklani. Kevin, the offload and the score. It's a brilliant, brilliant try for Anati Shinklani. Superb from the captain, Sifu Magawu, in the build up. Lumelo Nondonga, fourth year public administration student here on the near side for Walter Sisulu in Jersey 18, the loose head side. Powering through from the offset as that ball went in. And again, the captain controls. Magaru picks up and scores. 
Is that the final blow? Surely CPUT can't come back from that. Sipu Magawu reward for a consistently strong performance this evening. Keenan Williams. Brinkcase now. Advantage. He puts side. in the cross kick. And it will be a consolation score for Tariq Hamaldin. Long after the final whistle was due to sound. From just inside the right hand touchline, it'll be well wide. And Paul Matsoul blows his final whistle. Three tries to two, and full time at CPUT. It's the hosts 12 and Walter Sisulu University 22.